Listen carefully. You might hear Tom Suhu's exasperation. So this is uh, the makeshift setup that we've created for him downstairs. What you see with his son Bradley is a better than average representation of what passes for public school in San Francisco during the pandemic. It's disappointing. It's frustrating. Uh, it's aggravating. And it is tiring. And just one more byproduct of COVID-19 that has hit parents hard. Today we did a little language arts. Call it blowback from the Zoom gap as parents perceive their children falling behind while schools remain closed. Imagine quitting your job to teach your child. Tommy Bettles did. If anyone thinks a six or seven year old can learn to read and, and write over Zoom, they're kidding themselves. Especially in the context of a district voting to change the names of 44 schools because of links to racism and slavery and also banning acronyms as a symptom of white supremacy culture. Is this the time of the place for that? Absolutely not. The rest of this stuff you can save for another day. Hence, San Francisco's suit against its own school district to reopen. Applause from the parents' gallery. It shouldn't be this way. He should be able to go to this school that's one block from us. As parents see it, empty playgrounds, closed schools like these are hardly what they paid for with their taxes. They're not what they expect, even in a pandemic. In a word, they want to be heard, and they want flexibility. The group of people that are making this happen, the parents are not necessarily feeling like part of the conversation. Well, they are now, and finally speaking up, clearly and loudly. Yes, I do back the lawsuit, absolutely. In San Francisco, Wayne Friedman, ABC7 News.